Good morning! <laughs> hey guys, uh, so we just left the Airbnb and we are off to Grand Palais and today is going to be all about the Latin Quarter so come join us and uh, we're just about to go grab some coffee, some breakfast and uh, hit the metro. What are you thinking? I am thinking. Kinder Bueno? Yes, or Nutella Be Ready? Wow. Yes, sister photo shoot here. Isaiah is a really good photographer now. Isabel is doing her thing, being the, kind of the model. Nice Isaiah. Look at that. Good work guys. Good work. Let me see your shirt Isabel. Wow, fashion inspires my life. What does that mean? That's an awesome outfit, bud. Thank you. He looks so French. Look at this guy. Do you like my new phone? And then we are off to, I think, the Latin Quarter Slater. Hey, baby. Come on up. Baby, I got a chest now for my data. Nice. I used to love fashion, so being here in Paris is just obviously incredible for me and breathtaking and a dream come true but this um, specific walkway is um, based on like what I've seen from street style fashion pictures and photos and all that kind of stuff which I've been obsessed or not I'm not currently obsessed with but I was obsessed with um, this is where everyone kind of walks through um, to get to the next show and obviously like you would have photographers walking and snapping photos and so to walk through here is um, pretty pretty special for me and I almost just tripped um, but I know it's kind of boring like for a lot of people because it's like okay you're just walking between trees and all that and actually the action looks like it's 
way over there um, with all the shops and whatnot. But yeah, this is my special place. And um, another thing is uh, just the fashion here is I don't even know what to say. Like I never have to look on Instagram or buy another magazine again because it is like living fashion, living, breathing fashion everywhere you go. Whatever books you've ever purchased that say, you know, how to be like the French or how to dress like the French, it's all true. All of it. Like they have everything checked off from the ankle boots to the cigarette pants to the, you know, the, um, like the blazer, the navy blue blazers, like all the must-haves that are in like the top, you know, whatever, top 10 things to own as, um, as a Parisian woman, they actually stick to that and that's just what makes the whole formula work. Anyway, this is so not about kids and this is a travel vlog for families, so I'm sorry that I went on, just wanted to share that. Um, Rob will probably edit most of it. Um, we'll see. It's um, not back a up. little guy. He's so cute. Nice. Just don't eat it. So we picked chestnuts. I was telling the kids about my um, picking chestnuts when I was a little kid at the playground and I was like I didn't know that you could eat them so today they were picking them they cracked them and I took a bite and like literally my whole digestive system just went super crazy. Like I almost barfed um, and I'm like couldn't find a garbage can so I may see a puddle of spit somewhere around here. No I'm good now. I'm good now. Justine studied the vlogs quite a bit and knows exactly where everything is, uh, almost down to a T in this place. I love their little chairs here too. See, it's like the chill is already set for laying back. Guys, don't go near it. You see, Ratatouille, too soon, guys. Too soon. It's a dead, dead rat right there. Yeah, just leave it alone, guys. Let's go. Come on. What's that, bud? Smash that open. Let's go. All right. Are you ready? Fail. Fail. Sorry, bro. It's like it's a soft ground. We wanted to show you this area because this is actually the kind of like the piece de resistance, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna flip the camera, but uh, we're gonna have a look around here. So as you can see super gorgeous and um, we've got flowers and everything we've actually got Isaiah over here who brought a book with him anyway he is um, in love with reading which is a good thing so I don't discourage it um, but he does end up carrying these books with him everywhere he goes so here we are so beautiful um, Anyway, we're going to try to enjoy our walk. We're on our way to Cafe 
um, Ketsun or Cafe Ketsune, I'm not exactly sure um, how to pronounce that, but you'll see us there. Um, I'm sure Rob will be taking some uh, shots of, of the coffee shop, so see you there. Hey, oh, watch out, there's a car. How many laps are you doing? Nine. Nine? Well, how many laps are you doing? There you go. 11. 11 laps? There's like the big kids at your school, right? I'm gonna step. I think we have about three locations. That's you? <laughs> That's feature, Justine? <laughs> we. We, we. See another beautiful street here in Paris that you can just get lost in, you know? I mean, just grab a coffee, so you can just grab a coffee. Any corner has tons of coffee shops. You just grab a nice little coffee and go for a nice little walk, nice little stroll. There's bikes that you can just uh, rent or these scooters if you want to get to, you know, from one section to another. Uh, but yeah, there's scooters here and bikes. Very easy to get around. got a latte so um, they're really well known for a couple different things but um, I decided to get a matcha green latte and I got Rob a regular latte um, and then I also bought uh, like the cup and saucer set I bought two sets so that I can enjoy it um, just kind of enjoy the branding in my coffee um, and their branding at home um, but yeah I've been looking forward to it a lot and so I was excited to actually get it um, the other thing that I wanted to mention also uh, was there are coffee shops and um, like little little restaurants and all that kind of stuff like the one Rob was talking about uh, right across the street. So we kind of went the opposite way. We went to uh, we went to the garden first and then we ate. But what I would recommend honestly is uh, plan your trip so that you go and grab food first, get it as a takeaway and bring it to the garden and then that way you can enjoy a nice picnic lunch or um, just some coffee uh, because obviously the view is quite uh. beautiful there so we're trying to get to uh, the spanish quarter right now latin quarter Land quarter, Land quarter. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get there right now and rob is basically our gps system without him we would be super hooped 
Um, so he's got an app actually. It's called uh, City Mapper. Yeah, City Mapper, awesome app. Uh, takes you, tells you which uh, trains to go on, which lines, even down to the which car. Like if you go to the middle car of the tra of the of the train or uh, the end. That lady um, yeah. So City Mapper, <laughs> go check it out. Not sponsored. Something apparently is going on here. It looks like they're watching someone make a make some kind of pastry. What is this, Angelina? I mean, it's ten dollars for a cup of hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, this is Angelina. Angelina, famous for its hot chocolate. That's why there's a huge lineup. If you can see up there, big huge lineup. People waiting to get some hot chocolate. Well, not just hot chocolate, pastries. Dad, mom.